What's up, dudes and dudettes? My name's Seth, and we are back again for some more trolls. We are fighting the gigantic, beautiful Daughter of the Moon. Look at her beautiful arena. Isn't it amazing looking? Yes, it is. So if these guys are ready, we got Sithis and Joe. We got Unfriendly Lion, I think, is here, too. Dino Feet, the cool kid, and Tesladon. But as far as I know, Sithis, me, and Joe are the only people that can damage her. Let us activate her beautifulness. Now, this is going to take a little while to actually fight her today, everybody. But here is the secret strategy to actually defeat her, which makes her very, very easy as far as the boss is concerned. The damage, on the other hand, can take a little bit of time. But if you just are on the ice stage like I am right now, we are actually slowing down her walking. You can't actually use the Ice Sage Ultimate on any of the Titan bosses. I don't know if that's a bug or if it's just going to be something permanent probably forever because I don't know if they'll ever change that. Uh, but anyway, if her aggro was on us, we could actually just be leading her back and forth. But the point is that as you can see, we are keeping her very, very slow. So this is the one and only instance where the Ice Sage becomes completely invaluable for kiting. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, the special giveaway today, because we are fighting the daughter, which is absolutely astronomically awesome, is Wings of the Darkest Night. So these are the shadow wings that I rock on my Draconis almost all the time, at least until I can get the Lunacy Wings. But anyway, in order to qualify for these, you're going to want to smack the like button, be subscribed to the channel, and leave a comment in the comment section down below. And slowing her down, because otherwise, she's very, very powerful. And actually, very, very fast. Like, seriously, she is... She's a boss to be reckoned with, man. And if we can damage her fast enough... Although I don't think we can because we don't have enough... Uh, strong enough people with us. Like, we don't have a full group with Radiant Gear or anything like that. This is also just on normal mode. If it was hard mode, it would take us like 20 minutes. Which, it still might take us quite a long time to actually beat her anyway. Because these Titan bosses have so much health. Like, seriously. Uh, but anyway, she's actually a very, very cool boss. I love this boss. Reminds me of so many other games. Because as soon as you get her health down uh, for every quarter, pretty much, she transforms. So right now, she's using this normal sword. And when she ends up getting to her next form, she ends up pulling out a gun and using long range. Although it's fairly easy to dodge those attacks. One of them in particular is very, very powerful, though. And then, once you end up getting her to, I think, about half health, she actually drops her gun on the ground, and it's an invincible turret that's giving you trouble pretty much the whole fight. I, I mean, all you need to do to avoid it is just run to the other side of the room. There goes some of the error, guys. Um, but anyway, so long as you just avoid that, it's not that big of a problem. And anyway, her next form after that, she pulls out an even bigger sword than the one she's rocking right now. And she has a couple really deadly insta-kill moves. I'm just gonna turn, change the camera right here so I can get some screenshots of this chick. <laughs> I need better screenshots though. Oh, she's in gun mode now. There we go. So yes, when she's in gun mode like this, that's the move that you wanna dodge above all else because otherwise that'll just one shot you or at least me because I'm not really rocking like that much health gear. Woo! But if you keep dodging straight through her like that, it's pretty easy to stay alive. Otherwise the point of the abilities as well is whenever she's doing that charge shot, pretty much whatever direction you're walking in, like if you're running in the left direction, she's going to anticipate you perfectly. So wait until she does her charge shot and then move in the opposite direction once the bullet is actually in midair because it's not homing once it's in midair, but until she shoots it, it's pretty much a homing shot. Anyway, when she gets her two-handed sword out, and that's the one disadvantage of having the chat off is I can't actually I uh, turn myself to do not disturb, which thankfully we're not getting that many people spamming me invites and stuff, but it does happen from time to time. So when she pulls out her two-handed sword, which she'll probably do that about half health, then she's got like a couple one-hit kill techniques and stuff like that, one of them in particular, but it's pretty easy to dodge because all you really need to do with this boss anyway is keep your distance. It, pretty much just all the way. Like that's that's the biggest reason we're not on the Draconis right now. Because otherwise, everybody knows the Draconis is my favorite class, and it's pretty much my strongest class. 
but not on the Titans. You know, none of the classes that go into melee range are good on any of the bosses, especially on the Daughter of the Moon. You pretty much exclusively have to use long range classes no matter what. So right now what everybody else is doing while I'm tagging her like this with our ice ability, except for the, the few guys that don't have full radiant, is we get everybody else on Faye Trickster because of his uh, double damage buff or whatever his buff is. I, I don't know. But anyway, when she pulls out her two-handed sword, yeah, it's all powerful. And then finally, her last stage is definitely the deadliest. Because she pretty much starts setting up like smoke traps everywhere. And I, they take a very long time to disappear. So if you're not careful, she can actually fill up the majority of the arena with spots that are going to hurt you quite a bit. Oh my goodness. Oh, great. Thanks. Even though I'm closed steam, I'm going to have to take care of that one after. There she goes. There she goes. She transforms. She's doing her thing. Okay, so it's not as big a sword as I thought. It's just the exact same sword. This is only my third time actually fighting her, so... <laughs> is she going to do that ultimate ability of hers? I just want to kind of see it. So I can show you all. There it is. See where she draws on the ground? We can't really see it from our angle, but as you saw right there, it one-shot Unfriendly Lion. That, that ability right there. She draws on the ground, and then she takes a swing where she just drew, and that's pretty much a one-shot kill. Like on almost everybody like seriously unless you have like 100k health or something like that actually i think it does 100k i'm not sure bloop i don't know what's hurting us right now oh her stupid turret aha that gun that i talked about is hanging out on that podium so we gotta try and lure her away now we are not going to get top 100 for this by any means if we had a full radiant group then maybe we would we got very very close one time um, but we didn't have a full radiant group. We we were actually like I think two or three minutes off from top hundred When we were doing it with Valor Warrior and stuff like that and a couple other people But we didn't have a full radiant group So we ended up getting like 19 or 20 minutes or something like that I, I don't really remember but anyway, this is pretty much all you do with this chick She's very easy to defeat so long as you kind of keep your head and keep your wits about you because otherwise when she gets to her last ultimate form that's when things get really, really tricky, and that's when it gets tense, because almost all of her abilities, not necessarily in normal mode like we are right now, but hard mode especially, uh, pretty much all her ultimate abilities are going to one-shot you, for the most part, so it's very, very tense, because you're trying desperately, like, you have to survive once you get to hard mode, because if even one person dies, it's pretty much like a wipe, because you need to have it, well... Not necessarily. You need to have at least one person on the ice stage. Uh, I'm sure that there are other strategies out there that you can do that probably make her a lot easier. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that have some crazy times on the Daughter of the Moon. And I have absolutely no idea what their strategy is other than having a full group of Radiant. Uh-oh. Yeah, she transformed. She's her ultimate form now. So now she's going to be doing her lasers and stuff. Which is very, very deadly. And there's that smoke thing I was talking about. Hadouken! Or Kamehameha. It's very, very cool. And that shock room is also very deadly. Uh, what you actually do to dodge her lasers is it's very easy. You just want to move to your left whenever you see her animate. When she raises both of her hands above her, that means that she is doing the double laser like that right there. And when she puts two of her hands together, that means she's doing Kamehameha. Like that right there good and now if she does her chakram attack third right there perfect so we're actually doing pretty good on this form we're actually causing quite a bit of damage to her i'm surprised how well we're doing but then again we are on normal mode so it's not like it's particularly hard she's pretty easy with her laser shots anyway because even if you're standing in front of the kamehameha for the most part it doesn't really hit you see there was that homing rocket thing it's that one that you really gotta watch out for and so long as you have a good understanding of the arena and stuff You don't really gotta worry about anything bloop, bloop. I'm just getting screenshots, but I'm also trying to be very careful because I don't want her to run out of this Slow buff that we got or debuff that we got on her because otherwise she gets to be very very difficult But yeah, as you can see you want to move to your left all the time because she kind of does it at a weird angle So if you ever move to the right you're pretty much gonna walk straight into her laser and that's that's a big no-no because that thing that laser can two shot you You know if you're if you're in it long enough at least on hard mode I'm not sure about just normal mode, but as you can see what I was saying earlier like her smoke is kind of starting to 
Okay, that was weird. That's why you gotta be very careful because sometimes she gets really, really weird and sometimes she'll do unpredictable strategies when she swaps aggro like that randomly to Joe because now we actually gotta be a bit more cautious about where she's gonna do her lasers and stuff because she's aiming at other people. But otherwise, we're gonna be able to beat her no problem. And as you can kind of see right here, like just straight up, like having somebody on the ice stage is pretty much mandatory, like seriously, man. Uh-oh, her turret's up on there. I keep forgetting about that. <laughs> Come on, you. Die. You think you're Goku, but you're not. You got very beautiful video effects and everything like that, though. And I very much love you. <laughs> Seriously, this boss, I remember when first fighting her. She is such a cool boss to fight, too. You know, it, it's awesome that Trove actually has, like, bosses like this. I, I, I personally wish that they would, like, make it so that you didn't have to have a forced shadow arena just to get to these bosses and you could just run the bosses over and over that would be fantastic wow that was close yeah so see it we didn't actually take that much damage uh, surprisingly which we're on normal mode anyway so of course we're not taking that much damage she's almost dead though she's almost dead come on die yes bowser we did it and I bet you anything, we didn't even get close to top 100. Or maybe we did because as I'm recording this, I don't know if 100 people have actually beat her just yet. We got 600 seconds. No, we didn't even. Okay. <laughs> Scratch that. All right, whatever. So anyway, that is the beautiful Shadow Daughter. So that is pretty much now we've gotten... I think, anyway, all these bosses on camera. I'm still trying to save up for these Wings of Lunacy. I might have them very soon, though, because I do just need to beat the daughter on hard mode this week, and then I'll be able to get them. The wings are particularly, like, they're actually really ugly wings, but I just, myself, personally, I don't know what it is. I just really, really like them. Maybe it's the prestige of them being so hard to get, except lots of people already have them, and I actually had them last week, because I didn't know. I thought the devs created them, but hashtag laziness some other user ended up crafting those wings and creating them uh for the game so that means that they ended up getting like 300 or 100 codes or something like that so they've been giving them away in streams and stuff like that as opposed to this guy fighting to get them hardcore but anyway that's gonna be it so thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it we still beat her in like 12 minutes so that's actually not bad hard mode takes about like 18 to 20 minutes or something like that with this strategy with a full group of people it can take maybe 16 minutes so I honestly don't know what other people do that has like a better strategy. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I would also appreciate if you'd smack that like button, share favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel. I know and stay epic, everybody. Believe in yourself.